Hey, welcome back, guys. Back to the kitchen. Back in the kitchen with Nikki and Mike. Hey, so today, guys, woohoo! We're gonna make some tender, delicious beef and broccoli. There we go. <laughs> you know what was on my mind? My mom was saying pepper steak. But anyway, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, we're gonna do some beef and broccoli, and I'm just gonna try to go ahead over these ingredients really quick so we can get started. All right, of course, we got to have some steak. So we got some steak. Um, of course, the broccoli. You see the broccoli in the back. And then we have a little ginger, like a little bit of ginger. We're going with some garlic, some fresh garlic. A little bit of onions we got going on. And also, we have some scallions over there. We got some white pepper. We're going to use some better than bouillon. Beef, better than bouillon. Whatever. Beef, bouillon, the paste. Okay? The better than bouillon brand. Um, we have some sweet soy sauce, we have some dark soy sauce, we have some Shaoxing cooking wine, some oyster sauce, and a, we're going to be using a little sesame oil. And that pretty much is it. I got one or two things that you don't see in the camera, but when I'm using it, you will. I will let you know exactly what, what it's for and what we're going to be using, alright? So, let's get started. Let's, let's jump into it. Alright, so... Now we're gonna go ahead and cut up our steak. Now, I had went ahead and bought some chuck steak. I had bought some boneless chuck, um, thinly sliced. And I had went ahead, uh, you know, and I placed it. You know, you wanna go cut against the grain. So the grain is pretty much going this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this way. All right, and you wanna cut it as thin as you can, you know? And it's best if you could freeze your, um, you know, get a little freeze on your meat, put it in the freezer. If anything, so it can, you know, it's be easier to cut for you. I tried that, but it's working out. I mean, just get a sharp knife, and you'll be you'll be fine. All right. So I'm gonna continue to go ahead and cut this beef like this. Nice strips like this. Okay. If you want them bigger, go ahead. By all means, it's yours. You can um, use flank steak. Uh, you can use whatever steak, you know, for you. They even have steak that's already, um, like, done up for, like, pepper steaks and uh, beef and broccoli like this. Like, the strips that you need, they have it already cut up in the store. You can even buy that. But we're going to use a little cornstarch. That's what I didn't have in our photo little cornstarch for whatever beef you have if it's a little rough and tough we're gonna do what's called velvetizing your steaks like the asians do they hook it up you ever went to the chinese restaurant and you're like wow this beef is really tender is this even beef right <laughs> be worrying, but <laughs> they got some tricks up they sleep so we're gonna this is inspired by them because they know how to hook up some food some you know they know how to hook it up so we're gonna take their trick we're going to use it for this. Yes. So. All right. So I'm going to finish this up. And when we come back. We're going to go ahead and um, we're just going to come back and we're going to marinate our steak because we need to marinate it for about 30 minutes so we can get it to be tender and stuff. So if you're new to the channel, guys, as always, we ask you to please subscribe. Thank you. Yes. Uh, click that notification bell so you know when we drop our next video as nikki say we drop in bangers all 2022 there you go guys yes heard it from her nice <laughs> ah. finally cut up where's my bowl honey Beef. all right so we're gonna go ahead and add some cornstarch okay Not a jump, you know, like a a heaping two tablespoons. Okay. And some black pepper. I mean white pepper, sorry guys. Oh boy, here you go. Here we here I go. And all this thing. Now this is the sweet soy sauce. About how much should they look to put in here? 
I'll let them know in the end. Probably this is probably about two, definitely over two, a little over two tablespoons. Okay. I'm just making a marinade for my meat. So I'm just pouring some in there, you know. This is the um Shin cooking wine. I'm not gonna pour a lot of this in here. That's probably about a two table. And also, this is a pound and a half of meat, okay? A tablespoon and a half, a, a heaping tablespoon and a half. I'm just trying to make it good, you know? Delicious. This is the premium dark um, soy. I don't have the regular soy, but this is dark soy to do. Okay. And this is some oyster sauce. I'll give you a measurements in the bottom, okay? For the beginner, for your beginner cook. So you can kind of pretty much see. You just want to season your meat. This is the seasoning we use, and we're not using, you know, garlic powder and all that. We're going to actually use the fresh garlic powder. That's about two tablespoons, okay? Now, if you don't have the sweet, if you don't have the sweet um, soy sauce, go ahead and add you about a tablespoon, I mean about a tablespoon of um, brown sugar, about two tablespoons of brown sugar or one tablespoon of white sugar, okay? And that'll sweeten it up. You need a little bit of sugar. If you don't want to use any sugar at all, that's also fine, okay? If you can't, you know, do sugar, that's fine too. Okay? I'm going to put a little bit of more of this um, cornstarch in here. Oops, here we go. Your cornstarch just helps tenderize yeah, it's the got, meat. Yes. She said that's the uh, Chinese store secret. They also, can, they also use uh, bacon powder as well. Bacon soda or bacon powder. I'll, I'm not sure, but I think it's one of the two. Bacon soda. With, along with the cornstarch to tenderize it. I'm just going to reduce this here. That's it. Right, it smells it smells good. It smells good, man. You start cooking this up. Them neighbors are smell this and start knocking on your door. <laughs> it smells smells really good. Really? Okay. So I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator while, um, for about 20 to, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to chop up my broccoli and start my rice. I'm, using, I'm making white rice with this, some jasmine rice. All right. All right. We're back. Okay, so look, we're going to put some of the better than bouillon beef base. And we got some hot water. We're going to let it dissolve in here. And what is this for now? Um, because we don't have any um, beef stock or beef, um, yeah, beef stock, so we're going to try to make our own. So now we have some. Taste it. I don't need it too salty. Yeah. Add a little more water. I'm going to just try to get all the, um, the rest of these ingredients in here. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and add, so this is going to be our gravy, okay? So we're making gravy. I'm going to add some of the, um, the oyster sauce. Good amount of this. This is where our flavor comes from. And if you're allergic to seafood, don't use this. Hence the name, right? And how we're going to think it up is we're going to add some cornstarch. But I'm going to do that in a separate little bowl. Okay, once we, um, 
once we get the pot going. Mike, check the rice. I did. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of the sweet soy. Get it nice and dark too, you know? Flavorful. This is all about taste though. You gotta taste it, all right? Taste it as you go. And you just, if it's too much, you just add more water. Okay, and I like a lot of gravy. So that's the dark soy. We like a lot of gravy. I'm gonna add more water to this, I'm sure. Let's taste. It's good though. I'm gonna add some sesame seed oil. Don't need a lot of this, just to overpower it. I'm gonna put about this much in there. some more water and that's gonna be our gravy base right here all right guys so now the broccoli is chopped up and now we're gonna just place it in a bowl of water right and we're gonna let that boil Ooh, your mama <laughs> ah! all right so we're gonna let that boil we got some runaways for about a minute okay let them boil. We blanching it. This is what you call blanch. So we're going to blanch it for 30, for, I mean an hour, and 30 minutes. Jesus. For about a minute, okay? Boiling water. Don't need nothing in the water. We have enough sodium and all of that goodness inside of the sauce. So, and after that, we got some ice water, like a little ice bath here to stop the cooking process. And then... That's it. Then then we're gonna start with the actual getting everything together. All right, making it taste good, making our beef and broccoli. All right. Um, looks like the broccoli's took his uh, hot boiling water bath for one minute. Now, um, at this point, I guess we just take them out and we take them from a hot boiling bath you can leave it there. to a nice ice cold bath. So in we go, and this is just this is just to stop the broccoli from cooking. You got me. That's all this is for, right? Yeah. It's just to stop, like stop the cooking process. So you put it in cold ice water bath. Just wanted to blanch it. You just wanted to blanch it, like she said, and blanching is just taking right. and um. You're pre cooking it. You know, not pre cooking it. You just want to take that raw vegetable, you know, flavor. You don't want them extreme, you know, just raw, hard, you know what I mean? So that'll help cook it yep. down a little bit. And then, because you're going to cook it a little when you get it inside the um, pan with the meat and yeah. stuff. Yeah, so the, I guess you put it in a little bit. It will almost be done. Pre cooked. So we'll be good to go. All right, so we're going to start off by adding some canola oil. A so just a quick recap guys this is uh, uh beef and broccoli she's using chuck steak cut fine thin 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 she got the broccoli from the stock fresh she cut them off some onions gonna add this um, oh, garlic oh garlic my bad yeah. gonna add a little bit of ginger so garlic ginger I'm gonna add a little bit of onions. Onions. Hey, baby, cooking now, huh? Burning. It's cooking. <laughs> I don't want the garlic to burn now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the beef. That's the beef. And I had added some um some of the scallions mm. to it, the green onions to it. This is smelling really good. And I saw earlier I talked about your neighbors knocking on the door. Yo, they definitely gonna be knocking on the door once they get a whiff of this. This smells amazing. This smells 
amazing. That garlic, that the onions, the ginger. Oh man. Just need a little bit of ginger. I had like a little, a fourth of a teaspoon. Just a little bit. Mm. Take a whiff. Just close your eyes and ah, imagine that, man. Smell really, really good. Maybe that we made earlier with all the um. With all our seasons that we use, the um, the, the, the rice, the shaoxing, cooking wine, the uh, oyster sauce, the oyster sauce, and um, what else we had, the, and the soy sauce and stuff like that, remember? So we're just adding it to it. I like a lot of gravy, so that's probably enough. It don't even look like we're going to need um, any slurry because our beef had the, um, the cornstarch on it so it made it pretty thick already remember so I might not even have to use that go ahead and add our broccoli that we went ahead look at that nice broccoli guys okay. that broccoli just so fresh and so nice and green slurry no cornstarch slurry because we have the cornstarch that was on our beef and a little more of this here because it's pretty thick so you're gonna loosen it up with that All right guys this is pretty much us. it we're gonna let it uh let the bro I'm gonna, I don't like my broccoli hard but I'm going to let the broccoli stay in the sauce for maybe three minutes. And that's it. But if you really, when you want your broccoli like this, go ahead and go ahead and uh, take it out and plate it. I got some, like I said earlier, I made some jasmine rice. And we should be good to go. This is pretty much it. Yep. We didn't need the slurry. Thick, right? Thick enough? It looks like it. Looks yeah, nice. It like tastes. I was gonna say, like guys, mm. you see it, guys. This thing. Uh, I don't need anything. This is good. Came together, really nice. I'm gonna take you guys in for a nice, a little close up here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at that. See the caramelized onions as optional, guys. We love onions. You throw them in there. Like I, we always say, yo, make this your own recipe. Right. Season it. Always season your food and put what you like. Only you know what you and your family like. This is what we like. Nice sauteed broccoli. Man, I'm telling you, this smells so good. I'm not even joking. Mm, guys, so what we'll be what plating, I'll right? Plate it, yeah, make this you guys is pretty a plate. much we have to plate, guys. So yeah, man. Um, she make that plate. We'll get right back at you and let you see the end results. You already know what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. As we promised, we're back with the end results. Here you go. Beef and broccoli. Yeah, man. Nikki style. Right here. You see what it is, man. Come on. It looks so good. I'm going to try it. So, I'm going to dig in. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Mm. Mm. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I'm going to dig in too. Mm. <laughs> Where's my fork at? Get a nice piece of this broccoli. Yeah, that beef is tender. Mm, steak. Let me show y'all some. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Mm. Caramelized mm, onions. Broccoli. Man, I ain't going to try the broccoli. Mm. Oh, man. It's good. <laughs> it is so good. 
Mm. Once again, you might think I'm just saying this. Right. But I'm <laughs> not. I'm not either. This is really good. Mm. This is really good. You, you don't believe me? Mm. You know what? Make it. I'm going to taste a little bit of ginger in there. Make it, guys. Mm -hmm. Prove me wrong. Comment down below, guys, if you like what you see. Press that like button. Um, I want to thank everyone who's been following us. Commenting. We appreciate you guys. I really do. Taking this YouTube journey with us. Yes, sir. Comment down below, guys. Let us know that you was here watching our video. Like Nikki said, she's bringing you back to back to back to back recipes. Mm. So please, like this. Like the video. Smash that like button, guys. And subscribe. Till next time on in the kitchen with Nikki. Oh, and, I forgot my name. I'm so hungry. And Mike. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Later.